Today, we've come to the beautiful Macquarie Vineyards and Winery in Long Island, New York. We're at a tasting, and this expert will be our guide. Welcome to McCary Vineyards and Winery. But along with teaching proper wine terms and techniques. You want to swish it around just a little bit? Take in the aroma. Bold, refined, crisp, polished. She also has some strange. Suck it in. And unconventional methods for these unsuspecting. Open one eye. Wine enthusiasts. You're at a wine tasting being asked to experience the wine in some pretty bizarre ways. What would you do? Hello, how are you? These first set of tasters step up to the counter. Scoop around on the outside. And, and immediately, Tracy shares a secret for making wine finger-licking good. They've been doing some research. This is actually helping to better taste the wine. You can lean the cup over and just tip the fingertip in there because what happens is there's there's elements that are that's on us and like with the salt and stuff and it kind of gives a nice full body taste. Oh really? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it tastes taste different. That. Sure, it tastes different, but how does it smell? And there's also another thing. I'm do it again, but put a little bit right here. You get a nice smell. Okay. I wonder who like this cup or this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so weird. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we were putting wine on that. Yeah, <laughs> like, perfume. Yeah, exactly. You have mint all over you. Up next, this mother-daughter duo. Hi, lady. Hi, how are you? Now, traditional experts advise you to swish the wine in your mouth. But Tracy has an approach more likely to be seen at the dentist than a winery. What I want you to do is when, you, when you're drinking it, you suck it in. You okay. basically gargle and suck it in. Okay. It's almost the same effect as the aerating. Oh. I told you, it seems weird, but you're by yourself. You're with your dog. Yeah. But you can do an O or an E, anything that opens your oh, mouth. Okay. Oh, okay. But you have to you gargle it. Put it in your mouth, like your whole mouth. Gargle. <laughs> so try it when they're moving. And then swallow, and then you... You blow out with an O. Oh, you have to say the sound and stuff. It helps oh, vibrate. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Now, let's make the wine breathe even more. You know the aerators that you get? You get really expensive ones. This works just as good. I don't know why people spend so much money. So you want to stir it around, and then I would like you, if you don't mind, I know it seems weird, but trust me, she's been doing it, we've been doing it all week. <laughs> I want you to blow bubbles into it. Blow it for five seconds, so you want to make sure you get enough in there to where it's all bubbly. Perfect, and now taste it before, you can take that out and taste it before it settles. And it just opens it up in, in, in a little bit more. <laughs> well, I can see that. Right? Yeah. See, y'all think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All those flavors are like a Puerto Rican mofongo, uh, right, you know? Right, right, it's really good. Tastes like a what? Like a Puerto Rican uh, mofongo. Time to blow the whistle on our wacky wine expert. <laughs> what the heck were you doing? You're such a classy woman. You know wine, right? I don't know wine that well. I just knew that this is not what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> what is it about her that made you do this? She seems very um, enthused and <laughs> genuine. Throughout the day, our wholly unqualified wine expert throws out interesting descriptions of tastes and flavors. You smell like a, a rubber smell? Nobody mentioned it. I'm not getting that. No, there's a little taste of uh, turmeric and, and tea trail. There's like a little taste of a cilantro taste too, which is interesting because I've never had that in a wine. And there's a little kale in there too, actually. Some people say it's almost like a poultry taste. Lentils, more of a lentil sure, taste. I can see that. You taste a little bit of jalapeno. Anything spicy? Yes. Like a chili powder? Yes. Yeah. Do you taste the avocado? Really? Yeah, like a smooth and creamy. That's why I like it. Guacamole. It almost tastes like a papaya, too. 
In this next group is a guy who right away tastes something fishy with our wine pro. Wait a minute, first off, you look like somebody who's on TV. Oh, we no recognize her. Before he ruins all the fun, one of our staffers quietly pulls him to the side, asking him to keep our secret so Tracy can continue her work. Stir it around, blow bubbles. The rest of the group goes along with Tracy's insane requests. Now she pours the wine into bowls to see if she can get these guys to lap it up. And then now you can go down and just Basically, you're going to use your tongue. <laughs> Our new accomplice can barely watch. With him dying on the vine. You ready to go? We interrupt the tasting to say hello. <laughs> he almost busted us. <laughs> he knew right away, so we, we had to pull him yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, All good. How did you know? I watch a show. <laughs> I watch a show. And uh, my wife often says, if it was you, You'd be involved every time. So this time I did, but <laughs> in a different way. No one in this next group recognizes Tracy. So once again, she tries the hands-free wine tasting technique. OK, so now that it's rested, you're going to actually be tasting it, but you're going to be lapping it up like a dog. I know it sounds weird, but you don't want any of your mouth to touch it. You just want the inside of the mouth. Yes, so you have to actually go down. You can't move it. Let's all act like dogs. You ready? Give it a shot. Just watch your hat. Look at the cowboy. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Try. Go, 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 go. Seriously? You're, you're believing everything? You believe. Every move. We were no, of course not. <laughs> that is great. That is hilarious. Why did you do it? Because she, because I she's my good friend. We thought it was part oh, of the hell? We roll again, and this final couple is at the vineyard to celebrate their 10th wedding anniversary. And what does Tracy have in store for the lovebirds? Give her some of this, though. Put some in the straw and just put some in her mouth. But close your eyes. Only reason is because if you get rid of one of your senses, the other one's stronger. You ready? OK, yeah. It's not quite like the cake. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> no turning back now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What else can you make us do? <laughs> Good question. Before you do anything, I want you to just listen to it. Shh. Guys, I'm sorry, can you be quiet for just a second? What do you hear? It's like a subliminal message. Buy a case. Time to give them one last anniversary surprise. When you're trying this one, just close your eyes. Just take okay. in the moment. We're going to leave for a okay. moment because we want you for the. Thank you. Close your eyes, though. Oh, so, take a sip. I'm going to go get the wine. Hi there. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Happy anniversary! Oh, There's your wine. <laughs> That's for you. That was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm John Kenyanis. Great meeting you. What would you do at the TV show? Happy anniversary to them. And our apologies to all the customers who fell victim to our wine workers' wacky ways.